this is a miracle that you've been in two successful bands, Nirvana and Foo Fighters. Yeah. It's a miracle. You know that. Yeah. It's a very difficult business. How do you meet Kurt Cobain and form Nirvana with him? Although you were the sixth drummer in the band. Yeah, I, was, I came later. Why did they go through five other drummers before they, they came to find you? They were a funny band, you know? I think they, they, hadn't, they hadn't really found the right drummer yet. And, you know, the way Kurt wrote songs... He wrote these really, really simple songs, and he's a great lyricist. His objective was really, like, make the song as catchy and memorable and simple as possible. Did he allow you to, any feedback in the writing process? I mean, here you are, a great songwriter. We wouldn't songwriter. even talk about it. We would just go in the room, and he'd start playing something, and we'd just play along, and then it would become a song. We wouldn't so say, he, like, hmm, that chorus needs to be twice as long. And in a different you key. wouldn't question him. So he was the leader of that band. The idea was not even to talk about music to keep it as pure as possible. Did it frustrate you that Kurt Cobain had that much? I mean, here you are. You're a bit of a control freak. You have all of these songs inside of you. <laughs> and then Kurt it's Cobain... Not describing you? <laughs> how did you function in that band? It was great. But but it's almost like being George Harrison. George Harrison had great songs. The Beatles made him only have one song on an album. Kurt wouldn't let you have yeah, but she, any... Yeah, but he was in a band with Lennon and McCartney. And I was in a band with Kurt. So it's that famous joke, like, what's the last thing the drummer said before he got kicked out? <laughs> oh, I got a song I think we should play. Yeah, right. You know, that doesn't... You can't... And yeah. I was perfectly happy because I was just... I was like disco drumming. I was just going doosh, dash, doosh, doosh, dash. I wasn't... But but you had, but you didn't you have all these great songs in your head that you had written? I mean, did you ever say to Kurt, listen, I've got great songs. No. You would not do that. You mm -mm. never let him hear anything you wrote? He heard some, and he liked uh -huh. a couple of them. Uh -huh. There were two that he really liked he wanted to do, but he was afraid to ask me if he could change the lyrics. Do you think if Kurt hadn't died, you'd still be in a Nirvana and never have written any of your songs that you wrote for Foo Fighters and never have gone out and done it? Like, in a That's, way, his well, death liberated you in a weird sense, right? I mean, I know that I would still be recording and writing stuff of my own. Everybody in this band goes out and does side projects. Right. You know? So when they come back to this... It's the Foo Fighters, and then... Um, but you weren't doing that when you were in Nirvana. You weren't doing side uh, projects. Well, I was, but I just wasn't letting anyone hear it. When he killed himself, were you immediately in a depression, or did you yes. see it? You were. Yeah. And did you say to yourself, that's it, it's the end of my career, yes. I'm never going to go anywhere? Yep. Did you sit and meet with Chris, the, the other guy in Nirvana, and say, should we form a band together? I always nope. thought it was, no, because that would have been weird. Yep. You two guys with some new frontman. It was way too heavy. We've never talked about that, ever. It's been 20 years. We still haven't talked about it. So when Kurt dies, what, what's your game plan? Or you don't have one. You I start to drift? One. Yeah, I just, you know. I who, mean, tell, it's just, who tells you your lead singer's gone? I mean, who, how do you find that out? I think maybe it was on the news or something weird. I don't know. I don't remember like you, exactly. The news, like the you news. didn't get a call. You just heard it. I think it was. It happened, and then it just all happened. Like, <laughs> and the phone's off the hook, and people are calling this and that. Yeah. And what do you do that day? You just go into shock. <laughs> I mean, do you? Do you, you everybody can't go back got your... together. Everybody went over to Chris Novoselic's house, and you know, <sighs> hung out, hung out because you were there comforting one another. It was just such a weird time. And we were kids, you know, I was like 25 right. years old or something like that. Yeah. So it was just, it was strange. And nobody, I couldn't even, I couldn't listen to music. I couldn't listen to Nirvana. I couldn't listen. I'd li turn on the radio and I'd hear like, all by myself. I start crying. You know? oh. like, it, was just, it was terrible. Just sitting down at a drum set reminded me of, of Kurt. <coughs> it reminded me of Nirvana and it was just sad. So um, Was it all good with Kurt? I mean, were you, were, were you on good terms? Things got weird towards the end. So did that make you feel even weirder about his death? Were you sort of estranged? Uh, yeah, I mean, everybody sort of was. I think at that point it, it had sort of split off and it just got really weird. It was, I didn't know that. Yeah, well, I mean, it, I don't know if anybody really does, but it had gotten to the point where um, He wasn't talking to you? Well, th there were just, you know, I don't I don't do drugs. Right. I haven't done drugs since I was a kid. Right. 20 years old, I think, is when I stopped. And so, you know, there were drugs around. And there was, like, the people who did the drugs, and then there were people that didn't do the drugs. And I didn't do the drugs. And so I was just out of that world, you know. And if you're in it, you're in it. If you're not, you're out. So in the last couple of months, you hadn't even been in touch with Kurt. No, no, we had. Right. And uh, but it, but Were you close to breaking up the band anyway? Do you think you guys would have broken up because Kurt was going his own way? I think at that point it was important that we take a break. I think everybody felt that way. It was like time to take a break. 